Hello everyone, it's the first Sunday in April and of course time for a brand new prompt of the month in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. And for anybody that wants to follow along with our prompts and challenges, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below. Now the prompt for this month is frottage, um, meaning rubbing. And I've just got a whole um, plethora of things that we might be able to use to add um, texture to our backgrounds here in front of me. I've got a whole pile of um, beautiful stencils, um, all kinds of designs, another stencil here, um, all sorts. I've also got um, a greetings card blank. I got these in a pack, um, spotted them somewhere years ago. In fact, I've sent quite a lot of these out in Happy Mail um, over the years and I thought this would make a great rubbing as well. I've got some textured wallpaper, so a few different designs of these. I've used these for all kinds of backgrounds in the past. I've also got this gorgeous um, sort of like um, a fabric paper. I'm not sure um, what, what this is called, but it's got the most beautiful texture on it. And I wonder whether I might be able to get a rubbing from, from this. You know, not all of these may work. I don't know. Um, this is one of those splatter um, guards um, that I use for gel printing. Um, and Another script stencil, love this one, this one here. And then this pizza pan, um, and I thought this would be great as well. As for the papers that I'm going to use, I've got some regular copy of paper here that I've roughly cut in half. This is A4 size UK um, or letter size US. Um, I've got some deli paper, a couple of sheets of those. I've got um, a paper bag, um, a sandwich bag. I've also got these as well, which I purchased when we were in Vietnam a few years ago. And this is just absorbent um, rice type paper. Let me just um, take this this out and I thought at the time when I bought this it was something like a pound um, equivalent UK money um, and I thought it'd be really good for using on the jelly plate but um, I don't think I've ever used it um, on that. I'm going to start off by using a regular piece of copier paper and this stencil here. My friend Linda bought me this one and this is one of the Mike Deakin um, art stencils. I really like the design of this. I've got no idea um, what this stencil is called because it doesn't actually say um, on the pack but I'm just going to pop um, my piece of paper over my stencil and grab myself um, an oil pastel to start off with. I've just popped um, my piece of paper down with some washi tape and my stencil is underneath and I'm just going to rub with a gold coloured um, oil pastel and just look, you can see the beautiful design um, showing through. I think I want to have the border of the stencil as well. So I'm going to go all the way um, over, rubbing quite lightly. Whoops. In fact, perhaps I should um, take this down at the bottom as well. Let's just make sure that, um, there we go. So I'm just going to keep rubbing all over, but look at that pretty design that's starting to, to show. And then I'm just going to go over the top of this with some stays on ink in midnight blue. I think you could use any type of um, ink for this. It's just that I wanted um, a dark colour and I haven't used this for such a long time. Let me just grab um, a scratch piece of paper. I don't even know whether this um, has still got any ink left in it but I'm just going to go straight over the top of my design. And of course the wax is acting as a resist and I've got all of this lovely color um, that's still showing, showing through. That's just lovely. So let me just peel this up and take the wash. Oh, I've torn it. Never mind. It doesn't matter because I will um, end up cutting and trimming around the edges anyway. Let me just take my stencil um, away. You see that one's come away um, a lot cleaner. But just look how pretty that is. That gold um, Paul Rubin's oil pastel is just absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous background um, that will be. 
Let's see what happens if we try Crayola Kids Crayons. I've pulled out um, a grey. I've also got one of the Tim Holtz um, stencils. I really like um, this design here. This one is called Lace Layering Stencil. I'm sure many of you have um, got this. Let's um, get it the right way um, around. Again, I'm just going to use some of my washi tape. And I'm just going to go all over this with my, with my grey. Oh gosh, look how beautiful this is. That's gorgeous. Now, I'm not pressing really hard, but I am applying quite a decent amount of pressure. It's really hard um, to describe. I think you just have to um, experiment with this and, um, and get a feel for it yourself. Now that would be beautiful left plain on its own without adding anything else um, to it at all. But of course, you know, <laughs> I'm going to have to add something else just to see what it looks like. I might end up doing two of these. That's just beautiful. Let me just move this washi tape down just so that I can get the whole of that design on there. I love that. It's just beautiful. And this time I'm going to try adding a wash of Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet. I'm just going to put some down on my plastic chopping board. I'm going to um, spritz with water. And then I've got, let's just make sure I've got plenty of water on there. I've just got a really wide brush here and I'm just going to take this straight, straight over the top. And the grey and the pink, I think, is a beautiful combination. So again, I'm just going to set that off to one side. I've dried this one and um, trimmed the edges. And I just think that would be the most beautiful background for a tag. It's just gorgeous. Now, this one is not sticky um, in any way whatsoever, whereas the Paul Rubin's oil pastels are. Um, so these would need to be sprayed with a spray fixative just because they're proper oil pastels and, you know, need time um, for them to dry but if you just you know spray with a spray fixative or even cheap hairspray um, that should do the trick I think those are both absolutely gorgeous I want to try this one um, next and this time I'm trying some of that um, rice paper that I got from Vietnam and I'm just going to tape this down as well so let's just stick stick this down just to hold it um, in place and I'm going to try my ink tents blocks this time and I have no idea whether these are going to work I haven't had these out for absolutely ages um, color wise which colors shall I use I think I'll use three actually this one this one and um, and this one here I think tonally those are nice vintage colors and they go really well together um, now do I do light to dark or dark to light I think we'll start off with them um, with light and I'm just going to rub this over you see that's an amazing um, impression and these um, set permanent once they've been wet and allowed to dry you see I've screwed that um, that up at the bottom let's try this one this one next I wonder whether I can rub side to side you see that's just lovely Yeah, we get a really nice impression um, with them um, with these. And let's uh, try the darker green on top. I think I probably need to practice with this a bit more, but um, but it is lovely. You see, I've got these lines going on, which um, which I don't really like. I might try this one um, again, but not bad for my first my first attempt. I wonder if we can come back in with the lighter colour again. Oh, I've broken it. That's okay. And let's spritz um, this with water and see what happens. And of course, this is very porous um, being rice paper designed to soak up oil. And in fact, actually, I'd like to try this with the wax and um, and see what happens as well. But I think that's going to be really grungy and beautiful once that has dried. So I'm just going to remove the card from from underneath and just heat this um, with my with my heat tool. 
I just absolutely love the way that that's um, crinkled, but I'm just going to trim this out and let's see what it looks like. That's absolutely gorgeous and it feels like fabric. I'm really happy um, with that one. I love this one so much. I'm going to give it um, another go. I'm going to use a Crayola for my background this time. So let me just um, pop, pop this down with some of the washi tape just to hold it in place. Let's hold that there as well. Am I in frame? I think there or thereabouts. And this time I'm going to use um, a black Crayola just to go over the background. Look how effective that is. That's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. But I do want to use um, the Ink Tanks blocks again as well. I love the fact that they're permanent and I love the fact as well that the Crayolas are not greasy or oily in any way. I mean, that's just beautiful as a background on its own, isn't it? Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that. Let's darken it um, slightly just by going over with a slightly heavier layer. Now, which colours do I want to use this time? Perhaps we could use these three colours here. And again, I'm going to work um, light to dark. So I'm going to try this colour to start off with. And you see, this is much more subtle um, this time because of the wax um, resist of the wax crayon. And it's um, stopping a lot of the colour showing through. Let's try this one. I don't think this one is going to be um, anywhere near as effective, but you know, it's always good to experiment, isn't it? I don't know, we are starting to um, see something here. And again, I'm just going to spritz this with some water. And let's just see what we end up with. Let's just uh, remove the card. I want to try and move some of that um, around with my finger. This one to me hasn't turned out anywhere near as effective. What I'm going to try and do is go over it um, with a water brush and see if um, we can bring it to life and just add a bit more um, colour this way. Oh gosh, you see that's much more um, intense. Okay, yeah, see, I like that um, a lot. Which other colour do I do I want to use? I can't remember which colours I used um, now. Um, let's maybe try some of the green, perhaps. Let's keep going with this for for a bit. Squeezing the water out because I don't want it to be um, too dark and too orange. But I really like that colour colour scheme. And then I wonder whether we can add some of the green perhaps on the right hand side. Let's try it. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad um, I've tried this. This has been on my list of things to do for such a long time. I have tried frottage um, in the past, uh, oh gosh, about three or four years ago using leaves. And um, if I can find the video, I'll leave the link in the description box below because that was some um, beautiful results that um, I achieved there as well. And that was just with leaf rubbings. But I'm just going to keep going with this because I just absolutely love that colour scheme and that effect. Let's add some more of this on the bottom. And I'm just going to give that a dry with my heat tool, but I just think that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's turned out completely different to this one here, but I like them both. This one is definitely my favourite. I just think that's got the wow grunge factor. Let's try one more. I've got um, this piece of textured wallpaper and this time I'm just going to use a really cheap set of Beryl oil pastels. Um, mine are all sort of, you know, broken up. I've used these many, many times before and I'm not going to bother sticking it down or shall I? No, come on, do it because otherwise I think it will bother me if it starts to, to move. And I'm going to start off with this really dark blue. 
Well, you see, that's a really nice pattern as well. And I'm going to add a couple of different colours here and see what um, I end up with. So we'll start off with, um, with that. We've also got this um, ochre colour. Oh, and that's um, making this a really nice green. And I'm just wondering what would happen if I start rubbing in the opposite direction. Let's try it. But that's a beautiful background as well. Oh, this is like a plaid. That's gorgeous. I really like that. That's a very nice um, design. Now, do I want to add any more colours or quit whilst I'm ahead? Maybe we can try the darker colour again. Yeah, and that's making it this most beautiful um, darker, darker green. I love that. That's just beautiful. Just look how lovely that is now that I've cut it down. But I am wondering what it would look like if I add some um, frayed burlap distress ink just to grunge it um, up a bit. So um, where's my spray bottle? Let's try this. You know, it was so quick to make. If it doesn't work and I don't like it, I can always make another one. But I love it. I love it. Um, but I can clearly see that I haven't got um, enough ink on my mat. And this is just one of those cheap um, chopping mats that you get from the pound shop. And I've just cut it um, in half. And I just find that these are really nice to use just for um, a palette. And so I'm just going to leave leave that to dry. I like that um, a lot. Well, let me show you what I've got because, of course, you know, I couldn't stop at the ones that I showed on camera. I loved this one here so much with the grey. This was done with the Crayola. So I went on to do a few more. This one was done with black, grey and um, sort of like a yellow ochre. This one is with black. This one is with grey. Um, this one was with the greetings card and this is on the um, rice paper. This one is just on plain paper. I love these. I just think these neutral ones are absolutely gorgeous. I did this one um, using the Roman stencil. Hang on, it's here. Let me just show you. So this is a crafter's um, workshop um, stencil. What's stuck to the back? Oh, here we go. <laughs> and this is just done on deli paper. But I just think these will be wonderful for using in collage or, you know, just using for backgrounds, for tags and that kind of thing. Of course, these were the other ones I showed you and I went on to do one more. Again, this is on the um, Vietnamese um, rice paper. I did this with Inktense blocks. I love the look of the um, Inktense blocks. And again, I just sprayed them with water. There's no wax um, resist on this, but, you know, they just look so lovely, don't they? And finally, I did some more using the Paul Rubin's um, oil pastel. This was the gold oil pastel. Now, I took the wrapper off and um, did some more rubbings, laying it flat. And I found that I got much, much better results. So I used the Tim Holtz stencil and that greetings card. And I also um, used the Jane Davenport um, mermaid markers. Um, are they mermaid markers? Yeah, mermaid markers. I bought these years ago and I've hardly ever used them. I find them really messy. I don't really like them very much, but, you know, you've got to use your supplies. And I used this um, deep sea colour and I think this one here is called Reef. Um, those two are both reef. This one is done on regular paper. This one is done on the rice paper. And you can see that this one looks black, whereas this one um, is much more brown. Um, but just look, if I tilt the paper, can you see how much that beautiful um, gold shimmers? Absolutely gorgeous. And this one was done in the deep sea colour. It's just beautiful. And of course, that was the first rubbing um, I did. And I used my stays on ink over the top. So, so I think I have got some amazing backgrounds. Now I'll be sharing another video because as I was doing this, my head was just filled with more ideas of ways that I could use this technique. Um, so I will be back. But, you know, I hope this has given you some ideas um, for creating the most amazing backgrounds. Well, at least in my opinion anyway. I mean, I've just got loads and loads and loads to use. Um, I would love to see your ideas. And as I've said at the beginning of the video, I'll leave the 
link to the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, where you can share um, any techniques and come along and, um, you know, see inspiration from others in the group as well. Um, but, you know, if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.